know you never really catch up on sleep, but anyways hey y'all it's your girl dana michelle if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel hi you guys i'm in a good mood i'm in a good mood um yeah you guys i am on my way to pick up tacos for my man and his sister and brother-in-law and his sister's uh mom because we are packing her house up and I'm helping because that's just what I do I could do both you know what I'm saying um and I've had to move myself so many times so I'm I am not afraid of a little manual labor but um yeah you guys oh my god my water jug lid is wide open um so what do I need to tell y'all? Okay, you guys, I usually, I mind my business, but I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy reading gossip blogs. I really do, like I, I do. And there's a gentleman on YouTube, on the tube of the U, that I enjoy. His name is Zach Campbell. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but he, is like his personality is like none other and I just love it but he recently did a video on his YouTube channel and I'll try to um, post the link for it so you guys could check it out if you want to but he pretty much was talking about the this whole Megan the Stallion and party um, Fontaine situation and I'm just gonna say yes I'm 42 um, but there is a part of me that really, I like Megan Thee Stallion. Not all her music is not for me. There are some songs though that I'd be like, okay, you know, when you feeling a little, but overall just, and granted, no, I don't know the girl personally, but from what I know of her, I like her. I resonate with her. She makes, everybody makes mistakes. You know, we live, we learn, we grow, whatever, but overall i like her i have respect for the young lady um so back to zach's video he posted a video reacting to the live that megan the stallion posted a couple days ago let me give you a little backstory megan the stallion was dating party and they were like they appeared to be a beautiful couple they seemed to be like best friends and just the whole thing it was beautiful they broke up and everybody was like oh my god blah 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 and fast forward a little bit cardi i mean lord have mercy why am i talking about her megan releases a single called cobra and in this song she's pretty much vaguely letting us know all that she's been going through like the drinking and being depressed and wanting to not be among us anymore um and she also made reference to an incident that happened where she caught a guy that she was with cheating on her like literally walked in on it she didn't name any names but instantly everybody just assumed that she was talking about party because she's the most re he's the most recent guy that she was attached to although everybody is like claiming that they've been with her and all this stuff so anyway party then releases a song airing megan out telling talking about she had lipo and then she's trying to make everybody think that she's all in shape like he literally aired her out aired her out and he made it known that he was talking about her so party is now releasing an album and he's on this promo tour and in every interview that he's doing the bulk of the conversation is revolving around megan and i don't know it does seem like clout chasing yes he is a successful producer or songwriter or i don't know if he how successful he is as an artist himself but the whole, every promo interview that I saw, no matter how much of it I watched, he's it, the bulk of the interviews have been about her. So Megan went live on her Instagram. And when I say, 
the way that she expressed herself in such an eloquent I don't even I'm trying to think did she even curse I don't even think she did she got her point across and we're just like I don't have nothing against anybody from my past and I for me and Zach even said it too that alone shows healing she said I have nothing against my ex I can't there's nothing bad I can say about him and blah blah, blah. she said but the thing is in the song I did not mention him y'all are all assuming that I'm talking about him and he's like taking full advantage of his assumption that that song was about him and making that his whole I guess center point for his promo tour and she pretty much was like I didn't say nobody's name and you're like she's like if the shoe fit if the shoe don't fit why are you trying to squeeze it on Cinderella anyway so watching Zach Campbell's reaction to that video just not that I didn't believe her but it just further solidified my belief in in Megan Thee Stallion's story across the board like y'all need to watch the video I'm definitely gonna link it because it I could not be a celebrity let me just say that it just seems too stressful it life is stressful just being a regular schmegular old person okay oh i'm sorry ma'am i'm about to hit a lady over getting some damn tacos um i do not want to be no celebrity because all of that that will drive somebody crazy that, no wonder some of these celebrities lose their mind or end up walking the streets talking to themselves or strung out on drugs or alcoholics that kind of mess makes me itch you know what I'm like that is god bless Megan god bless all the especially god bless all the the women that are celebrities because it's even more challenging for y'all I know because not only are people judging your thoughts and your opinions and whatever they're judging your physical it's just too much but let me run in here and get these tacos y'all so i can get over here um and be of service to my people and i will check in with y'all later oh you guys let me say welcome 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 to all the new subscribers you guys i really my goal um during this vlogmas was to hopefully have like a hundred followers by new year and it's not too late it can still happen but even if it doesn't i'm so grateful for the new subscribers that i have gained thank you guys so much for whatever it was that made you press the subscribe button thank you to everybody that's been watching all of these vlogs whether they're not so good or not thank you guys so much whatever it is that you see i thank you for seeing me and i love y'all and i appreciate y'all i appreciate you guys so much all right peace y'all <laughs> so, while you're there, um, we need this to talk. So, you know, oh, oh. go back over. Yeah, I know. Isn't that obvious, Derek? What's that? That is the new relationship? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with you. What you talking about? He act like he's been married for a long time. Nigga. Depends on what you call a long time. Hey y'all, at this point, your girl is tired. We didn't finish until almost seven o'clock last night, y'all, but I'm so glad that I was able to help out. There will definitely be a part two. Stay tuned for the next vlog. I love and appreciate you all. Peace and blessings.